guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go over the JAB transport truck and we actually get to drive down the road with one of JAB's drivers and we're going to talk to them a little bit about what their business is, what they do, where they're based out of, and uh, you know what the plans with this ride is. Yeah, first off we'll walk around, we'll go over the truck, kind of tell you all the things we've done to it. It's a very clean, simple, cool looking truck for sure. And um, well, the test drive, Tommy, not to freak you out or anything, it'll be the first test drive since we finished it because we rolled this thing out of the shop Friday evening or Friday morning and just in time for our truck show. Oh, that's great. And okay. we haven't taken it down the road yet. No pressure. So I get to do the first test drive with a customer in cab with me. Yeah, and we haven't driven it yet. Oh, thanks. This is going to be fun. All right, guys, this is a fun video. Follow along. All right, guys, check this out. We just finished this truck up just in time to uh, bring it outside for the uh, semi-casual truck show this year. And um, we're just now, it's Sunday morning, we're making the video after the show. Kind of got show you guys the whole build on this for uh, JAB Transport. So this is a 2024 389 small bunk, 36 inch or 44, whatever you want to call it. It is a 265 wheelbase. It has a 565 2050 torque Cummins in it, 18 speed trans, air ride front axle. And uh, I kind of go over, walk around, show you all the things we've done to this truck. This thing's pretty freaking neat looking. I really like this truck a lot. The color is different. It's actually the color of this truck's called ceramic gray. It's a little bit darker than like your North Sea grays and uh, pretty neat setup. But right off the bat on the front end, we put a chrome Lincoln 20 inch bumper, watermelon lights in the corners. He added uh, four grill bars to the front end. We did the LED firewire headlights. And then uh, got the Peterbilt emblems in here, the old school ones. We did those on the side as well. Up here on the front, we painted the hubs, did the lifetime uh, chrome oilers on the front end, and uh, lifetime lug nut covers front and rear. 12 gauge strapless breather kit with three watermelon lights, breather chops. We did the 12 gauge polished brackets and did all the pretty wiring and hit everything inside there real good. Just gives this truck a real clean look. The visor on this truck, the customer actually shipped to us to put on. I believe that that visor, I'm not even gonna say, I don't remember who we got the visor from, but uh, we did five lights on the roof, kind of an old school style look to it. Painted the back of the headlights. We got all kinds of trucks leaving the show here. <laughs> uh, exhaust wise, this is the Dynaflex OG kit. It looks super awesome on this truck. 12 gauge cabin sleeper panels, two inch polished panels with a painted cow. Painted the air tanks. Did the 12 gauge strapless or uh, we did the 12 gauge stainless wide air tank straps, 12 gauge boxes. And then on our air tank straps, we use the Iowa Custom stick on stainless covers. So they just go right over your, uh, your factory fuel tank straps. And, uh, you know, it's stainless, so it's got a, a, a little bit brighter shine to it and it'll hold up a lot longer. Obviously we painted the tanks and we painted the uh, def tank cover there. We did a Merit deck plate back here, painted it to match. And then three lights on either side of the back of the sleeper. And this is pretty neat what we've done here. So when you put these lights in, these dudes, once you cut the hole, you've got to go all the way through the sleeper. Open this side up and show you. You can see in here the stainless plate we made. So the light actually kind of sticks out past the, the, the wall of the truck. So we make the stainless plate, put that in. It keeps it nice and clean looking. Keeps the wires all tucked away. He can put whatever he wants in, inside the truck and he doesn't have to worry about it, you know, banging into the lights or anything. Also, we painted the door handles to match. We painted the chassis, uh, just a regular straight black. And then uh, fenders. So these are Hogue built half fenders. We didn't dump the air in it. So this is actually, that's the fenders at ride height right now. And once it's dumped, they get really tight. 
but um, 12 gauge made us this T-bar, it's super heavy duty. And we blind mounted the, the, uh, the fenders. So you can see in here, our blind mount brackets, they just bolt straight through. Gives it a good clean look. And then they bolt straight through the T-bar. And so if you, you pull the, the, the lights out of the back, you can get to the, the bolts or, or whatever for the, for the fenders. And we got this uh, isolator in between them right there. But that uh, 12 gauge made us this, uh, this T-bar and it's, uh, it's pretty heavy duty just so it can hold the load of the fenders. And one thing I really like about it, it's got the rolled ends down here. It's a lot cleaner look. So overall, I mean, uh, nothing crazy wild, but man, this thing's just nice, clean, simple looking truck. And that color looks just freaking awesome. But anyway, I'm gonna grab Tommy, and uh, Tommy and Jonathan are gonna jump in this truck, go take it for a ride. We still haven't been able to take this thing down the road. We've literally finished it, pulled it out for the truck show, and uh, getting up this morning and just kind of making a video on it to share with you guys, and uh, go do a quick test drive. All right, let's go for a ride. Yes, sir. All right, so we're riding down the road here, Jonathan. I know you got to do the walk around with Brian. What was your what's your first impression when you saw the truck? Well, everything turned out really good. Um, everything we were expecting for. Um, really digging the color, all the stainless, the chrome, yeah. everything. So that, that's pretty much what um, started popping right out of the gate. Nice. So you say you're based out of uh, Eastern North Carolina, over in the Myrtle Beach area. How many how many trucks are you guys running now? Uh, this will be the third setup. Um, yeah, we're in a little town called Evergreen, North Carolina. Gotcha. We're about an hour from Wilmington, about a 45 minutes to an hour from Myrtle Beach. So what's uh, what's like the typical like geographic location? Like we're like how far out are you going when you when you're driving? Uh, we pretty much do a little bit of it all. Um, we. Um, We've been very fortunate here the last several years, mainly North Carolina, South Carolina. That's cool. Georgia. So you get to say we're yeah. kind of relatively local. Yeah. Yeah. I was only asking. Yeah. I was only asking because, like, you know, I always try to figure that out. Like, whenever people order the uh, the coffin sleeper, yeah. There's, I'm always curious, like, what uh, like what radius they're going out from, like, from home base. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So you get to stay kind of local. So what uh what what are you guys hauling? Uh, right now we we pretty much focused on. Uh, dump wagons we uh we've done a little bit of it all rgns uh, uh but but mainly uh dump wagons um i actually leave next sunday to go up to ohio to pick up the new mac dump wagon that will be behind this truck uh, okay. and um so yeah we're, we're excited for that as well all right nice all right so me and you were talking a little bit earlier and you said this was your first cummins engine it is so was that did you did you make the switch out of curiosity or was it just kind of necessity it's like all right so you know we need to get some newer equipment and the only option is Cummins or pack hard right yeah we uh well my boss man he's always uh been a cat guy we, we've always that's all we've ever had is yeah. cats Z cats um but of course now thanks to the government you can't get your hands on that anymore i know a little bit about that yeah just a little bit so um but uh yeah so but then we've been hearing some good things um on this engine, yeah. um, you know, it, hopefully it worked through all the bugs and everything. So, yeah. um, that's well, and you picked an opportune year. You know, there's a, you know, there's another emission standard hitting next year. Yeah. So, this is literally the best that this emission standard can possibly get. And they've they've done a lot about making these engines a whole lot better over time. Uh, and the Cummins has really become a huge favorite amongst you know the 389 crowd. Yeah. So, I mean, it's uh, I know they had some some bumpy beginnings but every engine manufacturer does right. and uh yeah here recently these these cummins x15 engines and they've they've really been a hot seller for yeah. us yeah and then of course my boss man heath he um he loves the 389 yeah and this will be in the last year 389 so final year of the 389 yeah, yeah. so he, he uh wanted to go ahead and 
do something and take advantage of that as well. Yeah, and you know what? Buying buying a 389 this year, I don't I don't think there's any chance you can get burned on it just because you know final year of the 389, final year of this emission standards. I don't see anybody going wrong trying to buy a 389 yeah. between now and the end of the year. I think I think residual values are going to hold really well. And I think it was, I think it's a really opportune timing. So, I mean, it's, it's literally the perfect time to pick up a brand new 389. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were thinking as well. So. All right, so that was long, good. How long have you been trucking? Uh, 22 years, 23 years. Uh, oh, wow. Something like that. Um, and I've been uh, working for my boss man, Heath, JAB Transport, for 18. Uh, we've been in business for 18. Um, so, yeah, man, and came along pretty good. So. Nice. Yeah. So you've worked with uh, J and B for 18 whole years. Yeah, J A B. J what? J A B. Oh, J A B. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. It's been a good ride. Good ride. It's good. Yeah, the truck rides out good. No, it does. It, it, it's it's super smooth right now. Yeah. All right. So tell me a little bit more about uh, JAB. What's you know what's what's the story behind that? Are you guys are you guys looking to expand? Do you need are you needing drivers or is it just kind of a small operation and you're you know you're happy with the size it is kind of thing? Yeah, he's um we're a, we're a small small company. Like I said, this is the third truck. Um, yep. He um he just wants to remain small. Um, He's, he's satisfied with what we got, and, and uh, I understand the, uh, that. me and the uh, the other guy, Chris, this um, he drives a red truck. Um, he's been here just about as long as I have. Um, yeah. So I mean, you got two good drivers, you know, you, everything is going good. You know, trying to stay uh, small. So no, that's pretty cool. I mean, so you guys, you guys have basically been trucking together. You said he's almost been there almost as long as you have. So yeah. so you, there's there's you two, and then you say it's Heath. Yep, yep. So, he, so you guys have been working together for you know 16, 18 years now. Yep, yep. Heath and Chase, Chase and their cousins. Um, oh, okay. And they they own the uh, the company, and um, so yeah, the um, and then the the white truck. We've got a um, boy that's coming on and taking over it. He's gonna be the pilot of it starting next weekend. So nice. So yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. We had a lot of. We had a lot of fun building this truck. Yeah, it, we, how was it? we have a lot of fun building every truck. We do. Yeah, no, I mean, honestly, everything went really smooth on the test drive, I do a whole lot better than I, uh, well, not, not, not better than I expected. You, as you well were a little as, apprehensive when I told you that earlier. As well as one could have expected a first time test drive to go. <laughs> but uh, man, that truck turned out awesome. The customers are super happy with it, and this thing is going straight to work now. Yeah, no, it's it's got to head to North Carolina. These guys are based uh, close to uh, you know what Myrtle Beach is what they said, yep. so they're uh, they're headed to work, and the truck is headed to work, and we're gonna go to bed. Yeah, this has been a long weekend with the truck show and everything, and we're yeah. like making some videos in the last day, so uh, we're pretty strung out. Truck show has been kind of exhausting, and uh, yeah, it's it's time for me to take like a four day nap. <laughs> Hibernate like a bear. You guys know what to do. You got to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. And then, uh, you know, just keep an eye out for all those really cool truck show videos that, were, that we dropped. And outside of that, that's it. See you guys.